Now at 11, we're following developments in Isle of Wight County. Two newly released sketches show the man deputies say abducted and sexually assaulted an 11 year old girl. Take a good look. This is the man police are searching for right now. One of these images shows what he would look like with his glasses off and one with glasses on. 10 on your side, Lauren Compton is live in Isle of Wight tonight. Lauren, what is the latest on the search? Stephanie, a lot of businesses are circulating this sketch around the community and on Facebook, on social media sites. We're seeing people sharing and posting it as much as they can. And people here in this community say they hope that this sketch leads to an arrest. A white male with blue eyes wearing brown glasses, 5'8", medium in build. This is the man the Isle of Wight Sheriff's Department is looking for. He's also the man who has several communities looking at the people around them a little closer. You do want to try to help catch the person, but you do look at strangers differently because, like I said, you don't want it ever to happen. When something like this happens, you, you know, you're even more aware of anything around you and anything that's out of the ordinary or someone you're not used to seeing. Deputies say this man abducted an 11-year-old girl from her bus stop off Route 17 Wednesday morning. He sexually assaulted her in a remote area off Iron Mine Spring Road in Isle of Wight, then again off Quaker Drive and Long Street Lane in Suffolk. It's a terrifying invasion that has people on their guards and fired up about the man who did it. It seems to be a lot of anger in the community also. Oh, of course. Aren't you angry about it? I, I'm angry at anybody that would hurt a child. The sheriff also wants people to be on the lookout for a two-door white Chevrolet coupe. It has a Virginia inspection sticker on it, manual windows, and torn interior. Many are confident with the details available about this man, he will be caught. This invasion has opened a lot of eyes in this community and is changing people's sense of security. They'll be on their guard more. To be even more careful, you know, no matter how many precautions you take, every now and then something does bad happen. A lot of people tell me they are amazed at how much detail this victim was able to give about her attacker and parents say that has shown them they need to sit down and have a very important conversation with their own children about looking out for strangers and being on alert. Reporting live in Isle of Wight County, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side. Lauren, thanks so much. Now here is that sketch once again. There is a tip line dedicated for information just on this case. It is 365-6290.